It's one of those KC table questions. So let's make a table for ourselves. So in the beginning here, you typically say something like um, the reaction. Then you say initial moles. And then you say the change. If your teacher says different things, that's absolutely fine. I've seen a lot of different ways you can do these tables. Um, this one would say um, moles at equilibrium. And then this one will say concentration at equilibrium. Then what you do is you go put the reaction at the top. So that'll be 2SO2 plus oxygen takes us to 2SO3. Then what we do is we go fill in all the values. So they tell us that 0 0.3 moles of SO2, so 0 0.3 moles of SO2 is mixed with an unknown mass of oxygen. Okay, so we have no idea what that one is over there in a sealed 10 decimeter container. It is found that da, 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 da. okay, and then when they don't give you any of this one because it's a product for the initial, remember for the initial, we can always make that a zero. Then they tell us that at equilibrium, it is found that we have 0 0.2 moles of SO3. So at equilibrium, we have 0 0.2 moles of SO3. So how much did the SO3 go up by? It goes up by 0 0.2. So we say plus 0 0.2. I'm going to put an X over here. Right. Now, this is the very important part. Trying to determine what values go here and what values go here. So what you do is you look at the mole ratio in the balanced equation. So you look at, um, let me just get another color here, guys. Um, let's do this, do that, and do that. Okay, so you, these numbers here become very important. There's a one there and a two there. And you're also going to look at this number over here. So can you see the mole ratio between SO3 and oxygen is two to one. So that means that this number would have to be a 0 0.1 if this number is 0 0.2, okay? Make sure that that makes sense to you. Another thing is that because this oxygen is a reactant, it's gonna become less. So you must put a minus over there. Now, can you look at the mole ratio between, um, between SO3 and SO2 is in a two to two relationship or a one to one relationship. So that means that this number can be negative 0 0.2. It's negative because it's a reactant, it becomes less. So what I can now do is I can, I can do some basic maths over here, 0 0.3 minus 0 0.2 is 0 0.1. This one I can say 0 0.x minus 0 0.1. And then this one, I can say for the concentration, I can use the formula C equals to N over V, where the volume they did tell us is 10 decimeters. So I can say 0 0.1 over 10 here, which will give me 0 0,01. And then for this one, I can say, um, what did I say here? I can say X minus 0 0.1, which is the moles, divided by the volume, which is 10. And then for this one, I can say 0 0.2 divided by 10, which is 0, 0,02. Okay, makes sense. So now they have given us the KC value. They've told us that the KC value is 4. So we can say that KC is always equal to the product. So that would be SO3 to the power of its coefficient, which is a 2 over the um, 0 0.01 to the power of 2 multiplied by x minus 0 0.1 over 10 like that. Now we know what the KC value is. Um, sorry, I don't know why I didn't fill in the SO3 here, 0 0.02. And we know that KC is equal to 4. Now it just turns into a bit of a complicated maths type of thing, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type all of this on my calculator, this part here, 
And let's see what that part gives us. Oh, it gives us a beautiful number. Let me just make sure, can it be that good? It gives us four. So what we can do now is we can say four equals to four over x minus 0 0.1 over 10. Now there's multiple ways that you could go from here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna multiply it over to the left-hand side. So that's gonna become four bracket x minus 0 0.1 over 10 equals to four. I'm then gonna divide the fours on both sides. So we end up with x minus 0 0.1 over 10 equals to one. See, I canceled these two fours. I'm then gonna multiply the 10 over and then I'm gonna solve and I'm gonna end up with 10.1. Now, that is not your answer. That is the initial moles of oxygen, but they said calculate the initial mass. But that's okay because now what we can do is we can just use our N equals to M over capital M formula. And we know that the number of moles is 10.1, 10.1 moles, the mass, we have no idea. And then the molar mass of oxygen on the periodic table is gonna be 16 multiplied by two, which is 32. And so if you had to go work out the original mass of oxygen, it should be 323.2 grams. 